guys, it's Lucky Girl B, and I'm back playing more of The Sims 3, The Basement. And in the last episode, we had to deal with some really unpleasant situations. We still have a man starving to death in our basement. In fact, I think I hear him crying and starving now. Oh, he seems very upset. I guess it's because he realizes that we just murdered someone. Yeah, we murdered someone in the last episode. But it wasn't really Amber's fault, though. I mean, she met this really sweet guy at the park. They had a lovely time in the hot dog eating contest, throwing water balloons, just chit-chatting and getting to know each other. And then he ran off and started talking to some big-breasted woman who just happened to be a little bit thinner than Amber. That was strike one. Then when Amber tried to stake a claim on him by kissing him, he totally got pissed off about it. That was strike two. Well, Amber felt bad she upset him, so she invited him over to the house for her grandmother's famous pumpkin pie recipe. She made him that pie, even burnt her hand making it. And when she served him a piece, he didn't seem to care for it at all. And then he peed on her floor. I mean, what kind of thank you is that? He seemed very nervous and upset and jittery. And I think it's because he heard the crying from the man starving in our basement. We couldn't let him leave knowing what we've done and the secret we're hiding, so Amber had to shoot him. <sighs> and Amber does feel bad about it. Or at least she did till she went to bed. But when she woke up, she felt a whole lot better because she's been chatting with Kanji, that cute nerdy scientist type that she met at the bar not too many nights ago. They've just been chit-chatting online all night long and I think they're really starting to develop something. Ooh, look at that. She wants to kiss him for the first time. Love is in the air. Ooh. It would be awesome if we could go on a date with him tonight. Oh, but let's not forget, we did sign up Amber for online dating, so let's see if we got any responses. We got catfish last time, so hopefully there's some cuties on here. Let's see, any new messages? Oh, there's a couple. Rodney, I was skeptical at first, but you seem like a really sweet girl. Friends? <laughs> sure. Chuck. Chuck likes what he see. Want to get to know Chuck? Oh, he talks in third person. That's not the signs of a narcissistic person at all. <laughs> of course I'll accept your friend request. See, these guys know Amber's a catch. She can't wait to catch them. Oh, too bad our mailman's actually a male woman. <sighs> oh, well, let's go check the mail, and then we'll see if any of the guys want to go out. Hmm, while Amber's checking the mail, I'm going to look and see if Kanji's up to going out today. Invite out. Hopefully he's not busy. Where would be a good place for us to go? <gasps> How about the cat park? I love cats. I love every kind of cat. <sighs> Hopefully he's not busy. <laughs> oh, I'll call back in six hours. Oh, well. He's so busy. When are we ever going to get a chance to meet him? Well, we can't let that detour us. There are other guys in this town. How about Sean? Hmm, let's see. He's off of work right now and don't know when he'll be done. Hmm. I'm starting to notice a pattern. All these men can't simply just be at work, can they? Are they all collectively avoiding Amber? Well, that's not right. Seven hours? Ugh. How in the world is Amber supposed to find the man of her dream if they're all avoiding her? It's like everyone's against her. Or it's like they know her secret. Well, she can't dwell on that. She'll just have to find another way to meet guys. Well, you know what? Amber does already have a man who definitely does not have anywhere to go. Maybe she should just spend time with him. I think that's a good idea. Ah, oh, well, hello, Kinoa. Listen, I would like to talk to you. Oh, calm down, calm down. I'm not here to hurt you. Listen, I'm actually very sorry that I've kept you down here. Calm down, calm down, let me talk. Listen, I'm a lonely person, and I'm sure you're lonely, aren't you? I'm sure if you just give me a chance, I can change your mind about me. 
Listen, if you'll just be agreeable, I'll make you a big dinner. Anything you want. Ah, I knew that would get you on my side. Okay, this is going to be fun. Well, listen, this is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to let you upstairs with my front door lock, of course. I'm going to let you take a shower, get cleaned up, and then I'm going to clean myself up, and we're going to have a nice date. Huh, I guess it's not so hard to get a man to go on a date with me. Oh, this is great. A second date with Kanoa. Huh, not only if he stopped crying. Now I'm just going to make sure the front door is locked, but I'm going to let Kanoa out. You can stop crying now. It's okay. You can actually come upstairs. I have no worry he'll leave me. He knows I have a gun. <laughs> He wouldn't make it very far. He can go into my room, go to the bathroom, take a shower. In fact, he could take himself a nice bubble bath. And then I want him to get changed. I want him to look real special for our dinner tonight. Speaking of real special, I should make us something extra special for dinner tonight. Hmm... My goopy carbonara guys can't resist it. Well, the few guys I've made it for who's survived the process of dinner. <laughs> oh, this day is going to be so wonderful. Oh, look at that. Kanoa's getting all nice and clean. I bet he feels so much better now. Mm, he is hungry. Good thing I'm going to feed him today. <laughs> Wouldn't want him to die of starvation. Then I would have to have two bodies to hide. Mmm, the food's coming along good. Mmm. Now that smells just right. He's gonna love it. Now I'll go put away the food and I'll get changed. If he's gonna look good, I need to look good too. Well, let's see Kanoa get all dressed up for me. No, no, Amber, don't show your crazy side yet. <laughs> Let's make him look good. New hairstyles in order. Oh, but not that one. <laughs> of all the difficult things in kidnapping a grown man, you wouldn't think changing his hairstyle would be that hard. Now nah, I'm making him a nice dinner so I want him to be dressed really nice. Oh no, he cannot wear that out with me. Hush, no. Oh, I am definitely loving this look. Perfect for our dinner date. Oh, he looks amazing. I agree. Very hot. Now, of course, I need to get changed as well. Oh, don't pass out now. Uh-oh. Oopsie. Sleep deprivation will do that to a man. Oh, no. Hmm, I wonder if I have any adrenaline needles lying around. Oh, you're awake. Oh, fantastic. Now, you ready to take me downstairs to dinner? Let's go. I really wish you would stop crying. You're bringing down the mood, Kanoa. Come on, cheer up. We're going to have a good time tonight. You'll see. I decorated the room so nice for us. Please don't ruin this and make me blow your brains out. Come on, just follow me. We're dining in the kitchen. I hope you like what I've done. What do you think? Romantic or no? I think I nailed it. <laughs> well, don't be shy. Grab a plate. I cooked this especially for you, so I hope you like it. I bet you're glad to have a warm, hot meal. <laughs> I'm sure it's been a while. I have to say, I really think we got from the wrong foot here. See, look how pleasant things could have been if you hadn't lied to me. Mm, if you think this is good, wait for dessert. It's going to be pumpkin pie with a little side of me. <laughs> I mean, if you want, no pressure. I'll just go put this plate away. Oh, you finished already? <laughs> then we should move on to dessert. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to actually sound even when I did that. 
The voices in my head never seem to stop talking to me. Well, here's my pumpkin pie. Come on, grab yourself a slice. I would have made a fresh one, but I had so much left over from the other night. That I probably shouldn't be bringing up. Anyway, dig in. I really hope you like it. It's a family recipe. Did I ever get a chance to take by my grandmother? She was a wonderful woman, great cook. Oh, I know, it's a little dry. Like I said, leftovers. You know what, I must admit, I'm having a very pleasant time with you tonight. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Maybe I don't need to keep you in that basement. Oh, if you're done, you can just put away the plate now. Oh, that dinner was so romantic. You know what would make this night even better? If you would dance with me. Oh, Kanoa, you're so sweet. Oh, and light on your feet. You certainly know how to woo a woman, don't you? I'm starting to remember exactly why I fell for you in the first place. Oh, I wish it could be like this forever. It's like a Stockholm Syndrome fairy tale. Oh, God, motherfucker! Oh no, it's, it's okay, it's all good. Let's just keep dancing. Motherfucker, you did it on purpose! I'm, I'm sorry, you know me, overreacting again. Uh, let's just keep dancing, let's not let this ruin the mood. Oh, Kinoa, everything's just perfect. Oh, Kinoa. So you want to stay here with me? Oh, Kinoa, I'm so happy. I don't want to fight anymore either. Wait a minute. Who's calling you? Give me your phone. Oh, it's from your wife. Listen, Kino, I think we can have something special, but you have to leave her. You have to call her right now and tell her you're done. Is that a no? Well, then fine. You're going right back into that basement. I can't believe you've done this to me again. And just when I was starting to fall for you all over again. Now go get in that basement. Come on, go right now, no funny business. I can't believe I let him in all over again, just so he could hurt me. And I was starting to trust him again. I can't believe what a fool I am. And look at the way I put on, eating all that pumpkin pie and goopy carbonara cooking all that fattening food for a man who wasn't even worth my time. Things are gonna have to change. If I want the man of my dreams, I'm just gonna have to be a little more forceful about getting him. The guy I really like is Kanji, or at least I imagined that I would like him. Well, next time I call him, I will not accept no for an answer. I'm gonna make him want me. They're all gonna want me.